Yeah, so I'm from here in Washington County, Indiana. Um, so of course, you know, Spirits of French Lick focuses on the local history of the six county region we call the Black Forest of Indiana. Uh, for me, it's very important to pay tribute to the history of not only distilling, but the history of the culture of the area. So I knew that at one point in time, I wanted to, to name a bourbon whiskey after a woman of historical note. And I knew that if I was going to do that, I wanted to be big and bold about it. So I wanted it to be something that would hold up to, uh, you know, the palates of, of very particular, you know, high rye bourbon drinkers, rye whiskey drinkers, etc. So the story of Maddie Gladden fit that style of whiskey extremely well. Uh, the story of her background, where she came from, having worked for Lee Sinclair, who we also named a whiskey after, uh, having went to Chattanooga and Nashville as an independent woman, set up uh, brothels in Chattanooga and Nashville, built herself up, came to Salem, Indiana, built this beautiful Queen Anne style house in Salem, Indiana on Main Street and had the uh, fortitude to run a brothel here on Main Street in Little Conservative, Indiana. Uh, you couldn't pick a better story to name a bourbon after. You know, it's it's not even it's not even for us. It's not even marketing. It's uh, it's actually a tribute. That's the way that we look at it, and that's the way that we hope customers look at it. We're not uh, we're not just trying to sell you something. We're we're trying to tell you a story. We're trying to maintain a narrative that makes sense for everything that we do, and everything that we do is far more imbued with meaning. Um, than just simply creating a product for the masses. So uh, that story fit what we were doing extremely well, I thought. So.